This episode of The Map is brought to you by the STJFL and its major partner, Cripps, the master baker, baking great bread since 1878. Now sit back and relax as we join our host, Andrew Hoppy Hopwood. Week one of the finals is done and dusted. Can it get any better, bigger? It certainly can. And here at The Map, we're going to bring you Every game of the second week of the finals, we're going to KG5 and Brighton. Strap yourself in, here we go. It's the under-14B, Brighton v North Hobart Clash. Well, they picked the ball up by North Hobart's Ackley. He gets a quick handball out to uh, number 10, that's Coward, who gets it to Hines. Big Hines, he's kicked a beauty. North Hobart have out of KG5, a very important preliminary final clash. Out of the middle, big Jack Byers. Very important player, kicks the ball forward. Looking at, kicks the ball to full forward, looking for Josh Davey over the back, Bangura overruns it, Davey picks it up, oh bang, he's kicked another, that's a great goal go, and the Robins are back in front, what a game this is going to be. In the middle, Thompson, taps it out, looks for the rover, Jewel, Jewel picks the ball up, runs around a couple of Brighton players, a bit easy that one, kicks the ball long, looking for big Hines, Hines picks it, oh he's taken a great mark, he's played on, bang, he's kicked a beauty! Big Hines and he loves it and they're around him and the Demons are back in front, it's goal for goal done. Thompson, down to Bob, picked up by Byers from Brighton, kicks the ball long, the, the jumpers are, still look a bit the same, down to Walker, who's coming through there, Ford, I don't know whether he had the ball there. Yeah, well, no, good decision by the umpire. Yeah, it's a good decision there, Duff. Oh, Ooh. he's paid one here. Yeah, I think that could have been there. Oh, we've got a double 50, can you believe that, Dodgy? No, I... Uh, a bit ticky touch with that one, Duff. A couple of pushes and shoves. It is a preliminary final, boys, you know. Oh, um, dear, oh the dear, umpires. The Rodney. umpires just getting a little bit too involved in here, if you ask me. I mean, you've got to pay them if they're there, but dodgy. I, I just feel as though the theatrics of the umpire sometimes can be overdone. Oh, a bit over umpired that one. Rodney guys sent Big Heath Thompson off. It's a very exciting day ahead of KG5. If I cast my eye across, it's only two points the difference in the under 15B. You can hear the crowd getting involved as the reigning Premier, Lauderdale under 13, are just making their way, final instructions from their coach. And we're going to meet up with uh, Reid right now. Uh, Reid, I know you're very, very busy, uh, just about to get these boys got a in, touch. into a lather, ready for the big game. Yeah. Uh, this is exciting out here. This is what football's all about, uh, up and about for the uh, finals. Yeah. The yeah. reigning champion going into this game in the under-14, how are the boys settling today? Well, they're good. Uh, they are good. It's it's really a difficult situation, you know. A few of them have been there before. They've, they've experienced the grand final win. We've got quite a few new boys into the team. So we've got a real mixture of, you know, confidence, yet, you know, um, newness, I guess. The one thing that I've been uh, very mindful with the boys today, um, confident but not cocky. You know, we, yes. we we want them to play Wise. their game plan. We want them to play well. It's exciting out here, Hobby. Oh, it's all happening out here at KG5. I can't, I Just can't keep help. the level head. Keep the concentration <laughs> on your game. I am, I am. I can't help but have butterflies. Um, yeah, so co confident, not cocky. Stick to our game plan. It's worked really well this year, you know. If we stick to our game plan, everything else will happen. It's not about winning or losing today because we're confident enough that we know if we execute that game plan the way that we've done for the last, you know, two or three years, then thing, everything else will, will fall into place. So we're happy in that, you know, I think we all, all we can do now is get out there. Nice surface here at KG5. Uh, it was good also up at Pontville. So Beautiful. it's uh, Yeah, so... No, mate, this is what uh, we play the footy for. It's these final sort of things. So good luck in today's match. And we're going to go and have a look at this big match now and uh, get in a lather of sweat ready for the big one here. Back to the central commentary position. <laughs> Well, there's not long to go, and the Robins have their nose in front. It's very exciting. The crowd are on their toes as the Demons try to kick that one out. They need to move the ball as quickly as they can. Oh, they're taking the game on. They rush past one, takes the bounce. Here's an opportunity. Kick it, son. Oh, he's been caught. Dear, oh, dear. That was an opportunity lost. And the Robins, great tackle there by Rogers. Rogers now going out wide. They need to settle. Desperation stakes there by the Demons. Going close to the line, and the line is their free end at this stage. Bustling through North Hobart, they just need to move it. Oh, the sign's gone! The sign's gone! The Robins have 
have won an absolute epic at KG5 and they're through to the next round to play in the grand final. heart rate is just starting to get back to normal it's just coming out of my chest that was a fantastic game of finals footy with Brighton just getting over the line against the Demons so commiserations to the Demons but Brighton they fight on for another day and just behind us we can see the under 14s warming up so let's now go to the highlights of that big match right the ball's on the ground fighting very hard in North Hobart but it's Lauderdale now pick it up and they go inside their 50 and that's a nice mark there by Scotty Hill. He wheels around, drives him in deep. Pierce coming out, but oh, we can't gather the ball, but oh, silky skills and hooks that one over. And there's another goal to the Bombers. Okay, now it comes out now to the Bombers and they're driving it forward yet again. They're being somewhat relentless, going back a nice ball by uh, North Hobart now, but picking it up by the running player there in Taylor comes in towards Pierce. Oh, he hands it off to Hill and another goal to the Bombers. Great teamwork there by the Lauderdale team. Second quarter now as the Bombers get a, another hand on the ball. They're running in packs and numbers and I tell you what, they've been really good all year and this man's been good, McGuinness. He couldn't quite bring that one in so it comes out to North Hobart now and that's that man Claridge driving it towards their 50. My word, they're a few points down. They'd love a goal now. They get the first one and they can just build on that one. But have a look at them now. They're going in very nicely. That was young Richmond getting back across. And the defence for the Bombers has been tremendous today. Very miserly as Hooker takes a mark. Now it's the Demons pushing it forward out towards that outer side. Handball away under extreme pressure. And it's North Hobart. Now that's a tremendous mark up high was Duncan. Beautiful work. Now it's the Bombers. Getting the ball through Johns, he hooks it over on his trusty left foot, back towards Hooker, a nice spoil there. Oh, fierce tackle by the Demons, that's what they need, they need someone to go a lift. It's fierce in there, comes out towards Cole, oh look a rag doll, McGuinness picks him up. And the umpires call for this one, and it'll be a ball up. Up she goes, big Ruckman, take the tap, McGuinness yet again with that trusty left one coming out towards Pierce, palms it down in front of him. He's playing a very nice game, bright future in front of this lad. Look at the Bombers now teaming up through Taylor. Taylor driving it towards the square now. Canning the handball across, they've been tremendous all day and Halliday has put through another one for the Bombers. It's a procession here at KG5. Oh, the ball bounces, Storm have the ascendancy. That was nicely done there by Burden. Now they come out toward the outer side. It's bouncing toward, and over it goes. Oh no, it's not, it stayed in. Nicely done there. Good play by the Storm, but picking it back in, and a very nice mark by Jones. Jones now for Brighton, kicks the ball up towards their forward zone. A very strong spoil there by Clifford. That was tremendous work in the defensive zone. Comes across now, ball's in dispute. The whiz, they're going in fierce and hard in this very, very cutthroat encounter. Now it comes back for the Storm. They're mounting another attack as they go out a little bit wide. And that uh, falls into the clutches there of uh, young Williams. Williams driving oh. it back in board. Oh, what's happened here, Duff? He's made a 50, Hoppy. Umpire Iken has seen an infringement. He's taken him right down there. And he's going to have a shot on goal. He's lining it up. It's a nice kick off the boot. It's over the head of the umpire. And it's through for a major for the Storm. They're underway. Beautiful goal there. All right now, so the Storm driving it down again. They're going into attack yet again. Let's have a look at Quigley. Quigley, great determination. He's fighting pretty hard. He goes in for one effort. He overruns the ball. He's packing around. It's uh, Quigley yet again. What great determination. It's 1% as the coaches like. So it's a boundary throw in now. Up go the big men. Can't get any clean tap out. It comes towards Brighton. Kicks it off and obviously that's gone out of bounds. Oh no, they haven't. Oh, there's a lesson in that. You've got to absolutely listen to the whistle. Yeah! It comes back over and it's a snap over. And it's a lovely goal by Byers. Straight over the top. Beautiful work there, son. 
Right now, lovely Mark takes the drop punt towards the centre half forward position. Up they go, but tremendous work back in defence. Now it's Brighton kicking down the line. Up they go, and a beautiful Mark. This man has been strong all day. Tremendous work there. And that's Sordi. Sordi now going back in towards the pack. And up they go. These two men, Clifford and Sordi, have been a tower of strength. The twin towers from down in the storm zone. They are creating havoc. Comes over the back. And that's a clever kick. And it's another goal to the storm. Beautiful work by Bryant. Now it comes out loose. It's going one way, then the other. Handball comes out clearly. Well uh, picked up by Bess. Bess goes back in board. And it's Brighton now trying to mount an attack. They're a few points down, but they never give up attitude up here at Brighton. Now it's in their clutches, goes one way. Oh, oh no. Duff, how did you see that one? Oh, another 50 metre penalty, Hoppy. Gee whiz, I don't know if anyone said anything because the young man there for the Storm has not gone over a millimetre. That'll be on what's your verdict this week for sure, but it's costly because now Brighton have a certain goal and there it is and it's another six pointer to the Robins. Ball being bounced up, up she goes. Lovely work there, another clean tap out there to the Storm. They're being tremendous, a kick over the shoulder. It's coming back towards the uh, centre of play. Man running for the ball and leading. Oh, there's the siren duff, I think it's all over. The Storm have run out victors. The uh, Signet Commandy combo in the black, teal, red and blue have combined well together to have a very, very nice victory here. I do solemnly swear that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to my, my daily, daily bread, Crips Master Loaf. Be it wife, wholemeal or nine grain, I will enjoy freedom from artificial preservatives. In a bread crafted from pure Tasmanian flour. And we love how it tastes. I will rise to the occasion. Munching on only the freshest loaves. Baked daily at Cripps since 1878. I will proudly fly the Cripps flag. In a toast to this great nation. We call Tasmania. Upon this, I swear. Cripps Master Loaf. Tasmanians swear by it. So that was a great contest there between Brighton and the Storm. Now we move on to our very big next contest and it is the Roos versus Kingborough. And if anyone knows about these two teams, it is the Premiership coach from uh, Clarence and now with the uh, Kingborough outfit, Mickey Dodge Dodgy. It's uh, looking to be a tremendous match between these two combatants in the under 15s. Uh, looks like a great contest in the 15s. Uh, with a really good day for it. The ground's in really good condition considering the weather we've had. Um, look, they've had one, one win apiece um, with the last encounter, uh, second last round. Kingborough having a very comprehensive win against uh, Clarence. So looking for a great contest. Finals is a different ball game, Hoppy, as you know. So we're really looking forward to a great game. Yeah, they certainly would. It was a very yeah. convincing victory. So do you think Clarence can come back from there? Uh, I think they'll throw everything at uh, Kingborough early. But I just think uh, the Kingborough boys, uh, look, look, I've been with them all week. They're pumped up. They're ready to go. They want to they're, they're desperate for a grand final win, so they've got to consolidate today and get a uh, second semi-final win here. All right, uh, Dodgy, we've got to go. The game's ready to start, so uh, let's move on and look forward to the match. Righto, Bachelot, free kick in the middle of the ground. Oh, the ball smothered by McShane. Oh, Ooh, the umpire's paid holding the ball, not sure about that one, I don't think he had full control, but the umpire's paid him for holding the ball. Machine moves on quickly, kicks the ball to centre half forward, Murphy coming on the lead, shoots a handball out to Hope, it's a nice handball to Westbury, he's running into an open goal, bang, it's there, the Roos are away, that's a quick answer, a goal each. Here we go, Muir kicks the ball out of the back pocket, looking for that man Lovell, he's on, oh, picks the ball up nicely. He's got plenty of Clarence players, they need to stop him today. He kicks the ball to half forward, looking for Graham and Berry. Good contest. Lovell's, yeah, he's everywhere. He's come up and picked the ball up. Nice pass to Pierce, who shoots the ball along quickly to Bachelor. Handball in the middle, looking for Lockie Watt. Lockie Watt oh, kicks the ball to centre half forward to the leading dodge. Could be a handful up there for the Roos today and takes a nice chest mark and a nice delivery from Watt. 
Dodge, 40 metres out directly in front, goes bang. He's been on fire this year. And there's another one straight through the middle. And the Tigers, two goals straight, 12. Clarence, one straight, six. Ball on the four line. Murford coming versus Edwards. That's going to be a key matchup. Comes out to wide, a quick kick onto the centre wing. Coming out is Grace. Oh, good tackle by Watt. Good pressure. Bones picks it up. Handballs to Graham. Graham kicks it at half forward. Bachelor. Oh, he's going to be a key today. Plays on quickly. Is what they need to do. Get the ball in forward. The dodgy one out up against Hibbert. A good punch away from Hibbert. Over the back. There's Bulford. Where's the pressure? Oh, gets a quick kick to half back. Picked up by Berry. Berry, oh, he's very well tackled by the Tiger forwards. And that's a free kick. Yeah, holding the ball. Good decision. And that's Matt Kelly at half forward. Steadies kicks the ball into the hot spot, looking for that man, Bachelor. He can't run forward like that, Duff. Too easy. 20 metres out, dead in front, Bachelor, and he's kicked it straight through the middle, and the Tigers are away. Three goals to one. Here we go, Silver on the half-back flank, picks the ball up, kicks in the, kicks on the wing, looking for Ragolini, a very important player today. He's very quick, he plays on. Onto the right, kicks a half forward, looking for Murford Cohen, the big forward, and oh, great defensive mark, Justin Muir. On the wing here, Ragolini wins a tap down to Silva. Oh, good quick hands, he's looking for McShane. McShane kicks the ball up, kicks to the top of the square, looking for Murford Cohen. Oh, great hands, he's going to be a handful too. The big Clarence full forward, Duff. Great pass, that one. 15 metres out, directly in front, and he's kicked it straight through the middle. And well, it's going to be a great game, Duff. This second semi final, final is a different ball game. Here we go, Jones takes a mark, centre half forward. The ruse are up and about. Looks for the leading Murford Cohen. Strong, strong overhead. He's played on quickly. Kicks the ball to the top of the goal square. Oh, there's someone loose in the square, and that's Hope. Trent Hope. Oh, plays on quickly and kicks a goal. Oh, Kingwood defence court napping there. Too loose. Bombers leading by 14 points here in the second quarter in the big game at KG5, and the ball's kicked out. But the evergreen, Will Body, he's a fantastic man in defence, reads it well, drives it long, and up goes the big man, Fig, a tower of strength. That was a tremendous mark there, Duff. He's normally a pretty good kick too. He leans back, hands true, kicks toward the goal, and the umpire's going to record another big six-pointer to the big man, Fig. Goal to Lauderdale. North Hobart now in defence, clearing from the half-back flank. Up it goes, going back hard with Webster, tremendous work. It's a kick in towards the goal. It's getting late into this second quarter. It comes over, and there's the siren. I don't think that one will count, Duff, does it? That was Edmondson who kicked it. Oh, I tell you what, they're going to have a bit of a chat about this. The umpires are conferring. They've gone to the video replay. Oh, and it's a goal. Just what the doctor ordered. It's a close one. Well, it's a very tight encounter here in the under-18s clash, and we're very lucky to be allowed uh, in the rooms with Coach Joe Edwards. Joey, how do you see the game at this stage? Um, obviously very close, only um, five points in it, which is um, probably tighter than what we thought it would be. Um, I reckon we, in most, like, midfield we're beating them through stoppages and everything like that. I think it really comes down the way with using the footy and yep. moving it. So. Um, I reckon if we get that right this third quarter, we could really come out and, and you know. Mate, there's a lot on the line. This is a do is or a die sort of game, and I saw the way you emphasise that with them now. Yeah. So have they got something in the tank to get themselves um, over the line? Oh, I reckon they do. I mean, I've got pretty big belief in this group, but um, like I said, talking about the start of the game, there's no tomorrow we did it when you lose like this, and if we did it, mean we go out in straight sense. Third quarter action as Bomber picks it up, drives it towards the goals for Lauderdale. Running back there, I think that might have been Carney, and I tell you what, he's picked it up with an opportunist goal. Good work there for the Bombers. Hill comes around, snaps, and it's a lovely goal. The goal sneak from Lauderdale, six points. Bouncing up now. Oh. A bad bounce there. Oh, it's gone one way. Comes over towards Beria. Beria goes on the defensive skills. Picks it up. Well picked up by Cole. Lodding towards back in. Oh, backing back with great courage is Digan. Sammy Digan, not a big man, but big heart and great courage. He's lining up and puts it through for a great needed goal for the Demons. Staying in touch, Hoppy. Boundary throw in. Up they go. Gets the tap out there. There by Rossiter. Comes out towards Hill, ever the opportunist, and the goal sneaks, put it through. Could that be the sealer? Bounces over, goes back towards Williams. He can't quite pick it up. Oh, Lauderdale through the... Get beaten by Rossiter there for North Hobart. Great play by Rossiter, and going back without any fear. Gee, that's great work by Edmondson. Snaps it towards the goal. Don't tell me. 
The Demons are still in it, and here they come. Six points to the Demons. Oh, it's Hill now, driving it towards that air of not sure what to do as far as your uh, defensive man, who can pick it up. Oh, I think that might be in the back. That was a very untidy tackle, and I think that might be uh, Deeks now. He's going to line it up. Surely this will be the sealer. He kicks truly, and I believe Lauderdale are going to go through to the grand final. As Fife now picks that ball up, kicking towards the goals. And gee, they're starting to get a bit of the ball as Hill goes back towards it. And it's a lovely mark there to Glover. Harrison Glover, now he's lining up. Surely this will be it. That is, without a doubt, the icing on the Lauderdale cake. A solid win there to Lauderdale against the gallant North Hobart. Now it's time for our Genesis Gym Umpire of the Week. And I put it to you, if Australia entered this man in the 100 metres, Usain Bolt would have been under extreme pressure. Now look carefully as the umpire is out of screen, but like a flash, he comes across and touches the post. Great diligence. Hats off to our Umpire of the Week. That's it for this week, but make sure you tune in next week because we've got three grand finals on offer. At KG5 at 10.45 in the under 14B, we've got Lindisfarne versus New Norfolk. Excuse me, the old fox has got to take the glasses off so I can read here. In the under 15B division, KG5, 12.30, New Norfolk versus Brighton. And under 18 at 2.45, it's Sandy Bay versus Lauderdale. And also out at Brighton, we've got the preliminary finals. Wow, that's going to be a huge week. There's only one way we can wrap this show up as we do week in, week out. And you know what that is? Seven plays in seven days. Palms it down in front of him. He's playing a very nice game. Bright future in front of this lad. Look at the Bombers now teaming up through Taylor. Taylor driving it towards the square now. Turning the handball across, they've been tremendous all day, and Halliday has put through another one for the Bombers. Luther Cully on the lead, shoots a handball out to Hope. It's a nice handball to Westbury, he's running into an open goal. Bang! It's there. Taps it out, looks for the rover, Jewel. Jewel picks the ball up, runs around a couple of Brighton players, a bit easy that one, kicks the ball long, looking for big Hines. Hines picks it. Oh, he's taken a great mark, he's played on, bang! He's kicked a beauty! The Twin Towers from down in the storm zone. They are creating havoc. Beautiful work by Bryant. Kicks the ball to full forward, looking for Josh Davey over the back. Bangura overruns it. Davey picks it up. Oh, bang! He's kicked another. It's a great goal, goal. Boundary throw in. Up they go. Gets the tap out there, there by Rossiter. Comes out towards Hill. Ever the opportunist. And the goal sneaks. Put it through. Could that be the sealer? Bounces over, goes back towards Williams. He can't quite pick it up. Oh, Lauderdale through the... Get beaten by Rossiter there for North Hobart. Great play by Rossiter and going back without any fear. Gee, that's great work by Edmondson. Snaps it towards the goal. Don't tell me. The Demons are still in it. And here they come. Six points for the Demons. I do solemnly swear that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to my, my daily, daily bread, Cripps Master Loaf. Be it white, wholemeal or nine grain, I will enjoy freedom from artificial preservatives in a bread crafted from pure Tasmanian flour. And we love how it tastes. I will rise to the occasion, munching on only the freshest loaves. Baked daily at Cripps since 1878. I will proudly fly the Cripps flag. In a toast to this great nation, we call Tasmania. Upon this, I swear. Cripps Master Loaf. Tasmanians swear by it.